morning. What are you hearing? Very good morning to you, Linda Ugutu. Indeed, as you've put it, we are here at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, where a couple of hours ago, at around 7.15 a.m., up to 67 Somalis uh, handcuffed together with seven Kenyans uh, arrived here after being deported from U.S. They arrived with an American chartered jet. And uh, 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 Linda, we've been able to uh, maybe uh, follow some of them uh, where we had the seven Kenyans, first of all, passing through uh, the police station here to record statements of uh, some of the cases that have led to their deportation. And uh, for the seven cases, we've seen some of them uh, having offenses uh, of sexual offenses. We've also had cases of uh, dra uh, 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 drug trafficking, a uh, case of, of uh, violence, and even robbery, uh, Linda. So, but obviously, uh, most of them, they didn't want to speak to us. In fact, uh, some minutes ago, just before I came on air, I tried to speak to uh, three of them who seem to be family members, and uh, they are really hard on us. They are saying, we don't want to speak with you. You're going even to crash your cameras, but then you could understand pro uh, probably uh, the, the whole case surrounding their deportation. Uh, so, Linda, on the other hand, with the 67 Somalis, remember as I've mentioned, they came handcuffed, uh, but you've been able to get information that uh, so far uh, the handcuffs have been removed. They are now in a chartered uh, plane that will be taking them to Somalia. Uh, the rule is that they have to arrive uh, to Somalia at around 1 o'clock. Uh, so uh, they are there. Uh, waiting, I think maybe around uh, 11, to, uh, 12, around 12 probably, they will be leaving uh, the country because uh, from uh, U.S. they can't uh, go direct to Somalia. They had to pass uh, through here. And if you can remember, Linda, this is a third batch uh, of, 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 of deportation we are hearing since uh, Trump came into office. Although it is not uh, really the policy, immigration policy that he used as a campaign tool uh, uh, last year or, or during his campaign, uh, but uh, obviously we've never had this before. If you can remember in January we had up to around 95 Somalis who were deported and uh, some two Kenyan uh, ladies uh, but then they were taken to their country and we, it was unclear of exactly what was surrounding their cases. In March we also had a similar situation and this time round uh, it's up and down. The relatives of, 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 of these people are around. Most of them don't want to talk but we've been able to speak to the uh, officers uh, in charge here. They're telling us more information, we can get it from the OCPD, uh, but uh, for them they're telling us, they first of all record their statements, then after that they'll release them. If the Kenyans are willing to speak to us, well and good. So we've been left with, with around three of them who are still recording their statements. We are waiting. If they are going to talk to us well and good, we will give you more and more information, probably uh, the situation surrounding their deportation. But trust me, Linda, uh, I don't think it's uh, the one uh, immigration policy, maybe as someone would think, because in U.S. we have up to 11 million immigrants, uh, and uh, Trump was very clear that one of the things that he will be doing when he comes into office is making sure that those people or those illegal immigrants go back to their country. So I, for I, us, I highly it's just doubt to give Cecilia. them an idea. I highly doubt yes. it's an immigration issue because listening into you just a couple of minutes ago, you said these are people who have been accused of uh, several different things. So I highly doubt this has anything to do with immigration. But we'll try and see if we can get a sure, statement sure. Uh, probably from the Foreign Affairs um, Ministry. Uh, probably the CS Ambassador Amina Mohammed would uh, sure. be able to give us a statement or just help us to understand what's going on. Let's talk about the Somalis, um, nationals that have also been deported. What are they being accused? used of. Uh, well, it's not very clear, Linda, uh, but remember Somalis have had uh, so many issues surrounding them in the past. Uh, uh, we've had issues to do with terrorism, for example, and I've said for the Kenyans, most of them it was sexual offenses, robbery, and drug trafficking. Uh, we are yet to speak to the communication person who is in charge of the Somalis, uh, but most of them, they came handcuffed. So, uh, 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 differentiating with the Kenyans, Kenyans were not handcuffed, though they came in the same uh, jet. Mm. So we are yet to get more information from them because they are around. But first things first, we wanted to follow up with our with, with Kenyans yeah. to get to know why are they here, okay. yeah, what really was happening. So we are going to follow it, and as time goes by, we will give you the full details. Linda. So did you did you manage Cecilia to get probably um, an official who could explain to you what's going on, or is that something you're trying to follow up now? 
Yes, one of the police officers, uh, our commander in charge of this station, who we tried to speak to, he told us he's not allowed to speak, but he will direct us and he'll try to make sure that we can follow it up from the OCPD. That's what we have as for now. And uh, for us, we try to follow. But if we could get one of them well and good, we will definitely get back to you, Linda. Cecilia Wakesho from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport.